action. All right, well, we have our interview ready. Please, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Gotcha. Hey, I'm Zoe. Hey, Milos. How are you guys? What's up, Aaron? How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm dumbstruck, uh, to say the least. <laughs> I saw that Clubhouse was picked as the map between you and Rise, and I had to question the decision-making of Rise right. going back to it again. But you mm-hmm. know, that aside, uh, first of all, I'd like to remind everyone that you stepped in to replace Geo. He had some internet problems, if I'm not mistaken. So right. even with that, you were able to do some pretty uh, pretty handsome work on the side. There's a certain point where you got to leave something for the others. Come on, Aaron. It's just <laughs> not fun, okay? But we'll take a look at a few of the rounds. Um, sure. You, know, you guys, for example, at the end, we saw playing Church. You had Mirror Windows. They were set up one in the army to look into into uh, blue, and then the other right. one was set up by the full reinforced search wall to look into the hallway. Whilst you're also playing the mira in a more of a maneuverable state and fighting from the top of the armory into the hallway. Now those miras will instantly pop to try and fight them. Now, what's right. what's the mindset behind them? How do you coordinate players to try and bait your opponents into positions where you can use those pop miras effectively? Yeah, so once the Twitch drone especially opened up the Mira facing blue, uh, we told Troy, hey, Troy, you should probably be the one to play that Mira because everyone's going to be holding ACOGs. It's not good if Mira tries to challenge long angles. And so we just position people in the right places um, to get the best battles, so to speak. So um, that's why Troy was getting all the picks he was getting. And uh, overall, that last round went uh, really according to plan. So it was good. Yeah, it, it did make a lot of sense, especially, you know, bringing the dock. We talked about the bulletproof cameras and how since my right. banned, we've seen that huge rise in dock as well. And, you know, mm-hmm. it was a good fix because you saw Ghost on the IQ the round before just rushing through and doing work because there was no information on where people were coming from the hallway. And the dock adaptation right. with the bull- bull- bulletproof camera in the hallway makes a lot of sense. But... Mm-hmm. I want to contrast that defense round with an attacking one that you had. Round number two... Sure. You went in for the defuse because the Pulse was playing an armory for Rise Nation. C4 right. was thrown out. It destroyed your thermite charge on the church. All right. Mm-hmm. What was the adaptation? Like, okay, guys, let's just try and plant on the doorway, and we'll try to make that happen. And it did work out. But right. 3v3 situation, and there was no capitalization on the fact that you had that defuser out there, and it's just an easy long arm for the defense. What was going on information-wise for each of you? Yeah, so it was a little bit of a miscommunication. Um, someone had mentioned, hey, I have the diffuser on drone. You don't need to peek it. Um, mm-hmm. And then it turns out the drone was a little bit further away than we had thought and couldn't hear the um, the guy actually diffusing it. Um, so that's why last second everyone tried to, you know, kill the guy diffusing, and it was just too late by then. So it was just a little bit of miscommunication on, on our behalf and just bad drone placement. Um, but overall, um, I thought the match really went uh, our way, and, and we just did a really good job on Clubhouse overall. Yeah. Yeah, one final point is in rounds three yeah. and four where you stepped in to replace Geo. Um, right. You know, there was the push from, from Monty through the garage. We saw Young right. uh, move away from uh, the Thermite where you were playing that uh, operator, if I remember correctly. Right. And you just moved up through a garage. You saw there was a soft wall in, in it. You went in. You, was it surprising seeing the level of... Um, or the, the lack of reinforcements or any contestion in garage? For you guys, when you just started droning around? Yeah, I think the first round that they defended CCTV, there was a lot of contestion. There's two mm-hmm. people up in rafters. The rounds after that, it was actually a little bit surprising that they just played uh, played more back. I think they were relying very heavily on the Echo Drone mm-hmm. and just hoping that smoke lances smoke and everything like that. Um, but we get, saw how the Echo get, yeah. worked out at, or didn't at the end with the Monty, right? That's just, right. hey, I'm just going to walk in and, you know, kill the guy or knife him or yeah, in my opinion, that site CCTV ends and begins whether with whether or not you're going to hold garage rafters. So if you give up rafters freely, that's a ton of control that you end up giving up, and uh, we were able to capitalize on it. So, um, yeah, we just Very saw weakness in, in their setup and, and just exploited it, basically. Yeah, and that's exactly what, you know, elevates a team above another, and that's, you know, why I have mm-hmm. IGLs and coaches that have experience in all of this, to be able to find the chinks in the armor before the round even starts. So very well done there. Again, gotcha. Congratulations on your victory 7-2 on Clubhouse against your opponents of Rise Nation. Anything you'd like to say to all the fans out there 
before we wrap this all up? Uh, just thank you to all the EG fans out there. We've had a fantastic season so far, and uh, we're really excited for the rest of the Pro League matches, and Invitational is going to be a barn burner for sure. Oh, um, nice. So thank you guys for your continued support, and uh, we hope to just continue to perform at the love we've been doing, and I'm sure we'll bring that trophy home. All right. There's a lot of hopeful people listening to this, so we'll see what happens at Invite. We'll see you there. Until then, there's still a couple play days for that. Thank you very much, Gotcha. Congratulations again. And we'll see you tomorrow for a second play day of this week. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Such a sweetheart. He even said hi to me at the beginning.